Hello traders and welcome to another video review. Uh, today is Tuesday, October 15th, 2024. Let's find out what's going on on the Forex economic calendar for today. Industrial production in Japan um, in line with the expectations minus 3.3% uh, and that's the one of the most important Japanese uh, and Asian data. Uh, and that was published overnight. Now the sequence of the data from the UK average earning index plus uh, a bonus climate count change, employment change and unemployment rate. All of this is mixed bag of data. However, unemployment rate drops more than expected to 4%. And the climate count change increases from 0.3 thousand to 27.9 thousand, uh, beating the expectations of 20 thousand. Um, uh, Spanish CPI is scheduled for release at um, 9 o'clock together with the French CP, uh, CPI at 9.45 and Polish CPI at uh, 10 o'clock. Uh, German um, ZEW current condition and economic sentiment um, data are scheduled for release at 11 o'clock and the uh, Eurozone economic sentiment is scheduled uh, for release at 11 o'clock together with the industrial production uh, data. New York Empire State Manufacturing Building uh, Manufacturing uh, Index is scheduled for release at half past two, together with some bunch uh, uh, data from the Canada Core CPI and CPI, together with the wholesale uh, sales. Global Daily Price Index um, from New Zealand is scheduled for release at four o'clock, and FOMC Member Daily will give a speech at seven uh, at five thirty. Federal Budget Balance uh, scheduled for release at eight o'clock. And at the end of the day, uh, quarter to midnight, we will have the CPI data from New uh, Zealand. Looks like a busy day. So let's just dig in straight onto the charts. We are going to start as usual with Euro dollar. Euro dollar for our chart is showing us another movement to the downside after the failure to break above the 1.0957 uh, technical resistance. We got the new low made here 1.0886 as we approach the, uh, and, uh, the other uh, technical support at 1.0872. So it looks like this uh, this um, uh, corrective uh, cycle. Uh, WXY will extend even even um, uh, lower. So now um, we are waiting uh, for another um, uh, wave to the downside. Market conditions are still extremely um, uh, negative. Uh, sometimes are even extremely oversold again. But there is no uh, big uh, rally here uh, to the upside after this zone here was rejected significantly it was tested at least five six times and then big rejection to the downside um big weekly down candle was made as well um last week so it looks like the best are in charge of this market uh, of the market of the euro uh, dollar and they want this uh, prices to go even uh, lower the series of the technical supports uh, is located at uh, 1.0874, 1 1.0828, 1.0805 and 1.0789. Because of the data from the UK, let's take a look at the cable. And the cable, uh, as you see, is trying to get out of this um, wedge uh, formation. So far, no avail. Uh, we got the reversal lower back towards the 50 periods uh, moving uh, average as you can see here uh, the intraday technical resistance um, uh, at 1.3082 is still uh, too strong for the boost to break below it but the momentum was quite nice quite um, uh, quite strong uh, it went up to the 47 points almost hitting the neutral level of 50 which means that this level here 1.3081 uh, um, is actually the game changer in, in terms of the momentum uh, if bulls will break above this level then the momentum should be positive uh, and the uh, next target should be located at 1.3146 however uh, for now we are moving back down and it looks like the uh, low from the Oct uh, October 10th uh, at 1.3019 uh, uh, will be tested soon and then possibly even the technical support at 1.3 the round number of 1.3 will be uh, tested last time we've seen this uh, this level on um, September 11 2020 uh, 24 so this is pretty 
pretty nice um, some sort of the maybe even um, um, some sort of the uh, head and shoulders pattern uh, forming right now uh, on the uh, for our uh, time frame a chart please remember uh, the head and shoulders pattern is a reversal pattern all right so and it looks like this uh, line here uh, might act as the neckline we just need uh, apparently to, to to make it like a textbook example we just need to get this low here and for now we got uh, something like this so uh the textbook example of the neckline would be uh, this uh, maybe not blue because we got already blue line but black there you go black line is the neckline so any breakout below might be some sort of the <clears throat> A little bit skewed, a little bit um, not regular uh, head and shoulders uh, pattern, but still it might work on the uh, uh, for our chart of cable. Uh, okay, we got some uh, data from the um, uh, crude oil, uh, so let's take a look at the situation on the crude oil. Very nice movement towards the highs at 77, um, uh, 68.45, uh, 40, um, then the rejection towards the uh, demand zone, another bounce, bounce from the demand zone, and then you see a big, big, big breakout way below the demand zone. Again, local low was made at 70.75, the next target. Uh, for bulls uh, is located at according to the newest data uh, the next target is located somewhere around the level of 6987 that's the next technical support as you can see momentum deteriorated very very quickly towards the level of um, 30 this is the uh, level where the market will mm, hit the extremely oversold conditions but there is still some room to the downside to hit the um, technical support there's a little bit room to the downside uh, and uh, it still looks like the ABC correction to the downside is in progress but then we might see some sort of the relief rally um, the other thing is that from the technical point of view this high here might be used as the uh, um, first point of the trend line so as long as we trade below the trend line the outlook remains bearish as well and last but not least let's take a look at the Bitcoin because Bitcoin did something that we expected. Again, we got this W shape reversal hitting the swing high from the September 27, 2024, located at 66,502. So apparently we have a new local marginal swing high made here. However, if we just uh, take a look a little bit closer, you can see doji candlestick at the top of the move and then confirmation to the downside and then another down candle however this whole movement to the upside is still very very bullish overall uh, for the uh, uh, for the for the bitcoin and this is uh, why i'm changing that three levels here for the technical uh, support uh, 64,448 64,731 60 uh, 5,090 uh, dollars uh, the market conditions are extremely uh, overbought and now we are coming off this this level some some uh, some sort of that pullback and the test of this technical support is widely expected we should see it very very uh, soon and then the market would be ready to come um, uh, you know to continue the up uh, option as you can see um, uh, the movement is not yet impulsive the movement is not yet impulsive we can easily label this last movement to the upside in three ways unfortunately right so it's a not five wave movement it looks like a zigzag to me but uh, we can relabel this uh, towards the uh, towards the impulsive wave as long as the top of the wave uh, a which is 63457 is not clearly violated then of course this might be wave one wave two wave three potential wave four and wave five to the upside which would correspond with the overall st corrective structure uh, to the downside abc here correction is done and now we start new impulsive cycle uh, to the upside so we need to see uh, what the market has for us uh, in this matter in the matter of the cycles but so far very nice strong bounce uh, from the lows of the uh, October, October, uh, right now, ten day, five days ago, we were in below uh, seventy thousand. 
uh, and now we are, all, are almost approaching uh, 65 oh broke 66 thousand uh, dollars and still going uh, going up that's everything for me for today thank you very much for watching this analysis and i hope i see you guys next time take care and bye bye